Hey guys, so today I'm going to go and do an upgrade on my computer, but before I do it, I want to do a test on rendering a video. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this video, it's going to be an 11 minute, 16 second video, and I'm going to render it, and while I'm doing I'm going to do a screen capture, and let's see how long it will take for this thing to actually render this video. I know it's going to take longer than usual. Uh, this is an Intel 2600 uh, processor. Uh, so it's an older computer, but it's I think it's going to do all right. But let's go ahead and get it all set up, and I will start the recording, and I will see you in just a moment. Okay, guys, so it's nearing toward the end of the test here. I'm at uh, hitting the 11-minute mark here in just a moment. As you can see, it's already took well past. It's already over 13 minutes on, on processing this video. Now, when I used my i3, that was, you know, 13, 15 minutes for doing this kind of video would have been normal. Uh, with this computer, normally I do it in slightly less time than what, uh, than what it says as far as the, the length of the video. Like right here, you can see it took 13 minutes, 30 seconds. It's an 11 minute, 16 second video. And normally it would normally take maybe about just under 11 uh, minutes to go ahead and process this size video. So I want to do an upgrade. Let me go ahead and uh, get the computer over here and we'll get into all the details here in just a moment. Okay guys, so here's what I've got. It's one of my viewers of the channel, this person, which has chosen to remain anonymous, does not want his or her name to be known, went and gave me a FX uh, gateway computer uh, this one I have been using now for several months. This one is my, been my number one re rendering rig. This is what I use for editing all my video and everything. This thing has just been awesome. It's a huge upgrade from the i3. Uh, I had a Dell uh, computer that I was using originally. And this thing here has been a lifesaver. It just makes it where the editing is a lot easier, a lot more fun to do. And it's, you know, it's it came with Windows 7, but I've upgraded it to Windows 10. Um... It's got a it's a 64-bit, which that's what I set up in it. Um, it's got an Intel i7 2600 processor. Um, it's got an AD, AMD Radeon HD 6750, which I did verify it is the same uh, video card that, that it came with. Uh, and it's got a lot of the other stuff has already changed. It's all the rest of it's kind of <laughs> outdated. But the same person recently sent me this. This was sent to the channel free of charge. Um, it was sent to me to do an upgrade to this rig. Uh, hopefully give it a little bit more a little bit more power to it. So the main reason why I'm doing this video not only is for doing the upgrade on on the PC but also to see whether or not by going to a better video card will it improve rendering times especially whenever I'm uh, capturing video at the same time. So this of course is a EVGA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti for the win card. And I have been dying to do this for so long. <laughs> it's probably been about three weeks I've had this, and I just have not had the opportunity to, to get into it until today. So let's take a quick look here, see what I'm up against. And that's it. So that's that. I have a DVD and some kind of a badge to put on the computer and owner's manuals and then of course I have the most important thing of all right here. Completely unopened. That is awesome. That is awesome. <laughs> and it's got, let's see, it goes that direction, I believe. Yep, yeah, like that. It's got a nice cooler on it, dual fan setup. It's got a cover over the, the socket right there. It's got covers over the DVI and all the other ports in the back here. So that way you can just uncover what I'm actually going to be using. This is going to be awesome. Okay, so 
let me go ahead and get everything set up here and we'll do the switch over real quick okay so one thing that has been changed out is the power supply it's got a little bit larger power supply and i'll have to do some cable management but i'll do that at another time but what i want to go ahead and do is get everything disconnected here that need to disconnect which i already took out the screws there and it looks like there's something here yep this is my first time working on a computer of this caliber i've never had the opportunity to really work on a nice computer like this <laughs> Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to disconnect the power and make sure everything else is disconnected from it, which it is. So let me go ahead and do the release. See here, I got a little screw from one of the other cards that's kind of in the way there. There we go. That released it. Pull it right out. And that's what it came with right there. And I'm trying to see if there's anything that shows for sure that that's the card that it says yeah it does HD 6750 so that's the original card that came with the computer so now let's go ahead and get this other card installed so I'm going to take off the tape here if I can find a corner to get hold of <laughs> there we go found a corner there we go okay so now I'm going to go ahead and pull the protector off of that and now It installed here properly. Try not to touch any contacts if I can get out of it. Okay, there we go. Almost. There we go. Got it. It's connected. And C for our power. It's going to be the same connector right here. Like I said, I'll I'll uh, play with the cable management a little bit later. That will work. And let me go ahead and get the screws put into it. Here that are taken out. Put that in this other one. Actually, I think I've got one more screw. Nope, I do not. Okay, that'll be fine. That'll hold it. Okay, so that is installed. So I'm going to go ahead and get this connected back up to everything and fire it back up. And I'll see you here in just a moment. Okay, guys. So what I've done is I've went ahead and I've got the GPU installed. And I went ahead and downloaded the newest driver that they had for it, which is less than a month old. So I got that all set up. I'm running at bone stock. I'm not, I haven't done any overclocking on it or anything like that yet. Uh, I say yet yeah, because eventually I probably will, but it all depends on how everything goes on this test, to be honest with you. So, um, as you can see here, it's been fired up now for about five minutes. Fan-wise, I don't see anything on my meter. It's And the thing is, I'm not a gamer. I don't game with my PC. Uh, 
I just do video rendering and everything with it. So that's, uh, if it's a little bit loud on fans, I don't really care. And so I can actually bump up the va uh, fan curve and everything like that to keep everything cooler. And it's not going to bother me a bit. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and switch over here to this screen. Uh, I've got everything capturing on it, same as I did before. Um, I've renamed this one to rendering test number two. Uh, once again, it's the same uh, one. In fact, it's going to be the task cam review. I'll put a link to it up here in the corner. But uh, let's go ahead and start it and see how long it takes. Okay, guys, so there it is. 13 minutes, 11 seconds uh, to render the 11 minute, 16 second video. So that's not a huge improvement at all. In fact, uh, give me a moment here and I'll tell you how much it was. Okay, 1330 is what it did on the, with the other GPU. So it definitely is an improvement. It's not a tremendous improvement, but once again, I am doing a video capture while I'm doing this. So let me do one more time. This time I'm going to do it without the video capture and let's just see how fast it goes. Okay guys, so here's the big shocker. The 11 minute 16 second video without a video capture took eight minutes, 13 seconds. So it shaved a lot of time off. I've got one more option though. Let me go ahead and get into it. Hang on for just a second. Get back over here to produce. Okay. Now the thing is, whenever I had the other uh, card in it, I didn't have the options of doing fast rendering technology. But this one, I do have it. So, let's try one more test. This time we're going to take and uh, name it GPU. Oh. GPU test. Let's make that number four. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the video capture and run this and just see what it does. <laughs> okay, so with hardware acceleration turned on, the 11 minute 16 second video took 4 minutes 46 seconds to record, to, to render. That is insanely fast and it's just amazing. So that's pure GPU power right there. That is something that the Radeon never gave me the option of doing. Uh, it, the options never came up with the technology that was for that Radeon. So, is there a huge improvement by switching to the GTX 1050 Ti? Yes. <laughs> huge, huge benefit. So the fact that I can now render videos in less than half the time is going to be, it's going to be awesome. So... To the sponsor, the one who, who sent this uh, card to me, thank you very much. Thank you very much for the computer. Thank you very much for the card. It has been a huge asset to this channel, and it's going to continue to be an asset to this channel for quite some time to come. At this point, I don't see a need to upgrade to a 7700 or even go to an AMD at this point. Uh, I'm perfectly happy with this computer right here. So <laughs> with that kind of time, which I'm sure the newer ones probably go a whole lot faster, but that's pretty good right there. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Have a great day. Take care. I'll see you in the next one. Hey, guys. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, please subscribe. I sure appreciate it. You can do that by clicking on the link over here. Don't forget to ring the bell, too. That way you'll be notified when a video comes out. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, please click on my Patreon page over here. You can support the channel from there. If you'd like to check out one of my other videos, please give these a shot. I think you're going to love them. Oh yeah, you're going to like them. Have a great day and take care.